Good afternoon children. Welcome to the EVS class. Today we will learn about lesson 17 moving around. Children in this lesson we are going to study about the different types of transportation, transport vehicles, traffic rules and people who help us in transportation. Now let us start with think. Rina likes to make paper boats and Watch them float on a water. Children, have you ever seen a real boat or travelled in one? How is it different from a car? Think about it children. Remembering, a car travels on land but a boat travels through water. Are there any other ways by which we can travel? Let us find out. We need to travel for various purposes. We also need to carry our belongings from one place to another. We can travel and move our goods through land, water or air. These are the types of transportation. Transportation means carrying people or goods from one place to another. Transportation means carrying people or goods from one place to another. We have roadways and railways for transportation through land. We use the land type of transport to travel short distance. Water and air transport are used to travel to far away places. Air type of transport is faster than land and water transportation. For all types of transport we need vehicles to carry people and goods for example car for land transport boat for water transport aeroplane for air transport children vehicles have wheels the number of wheels may differ in different vehicles air transport vehicles may also have wings to help them fly now let us learn about the vehicles used in each type Vehicles for land transport. It's a means of transportation that moves on land. Land transport. It's the most common means of transporting people and goods from one place to another. The main two forms of land transport are rail transport and road transport. Trains or railway transport vehicles. It can carry larger volumes of greater distances, making it more economical. Trains move on rails, that is why they are called railways. Train, some trains carry passengers, they are called passenger trains. Some trains carry goods, they are called goods train. A popular local railway system is present in the cities like Delhi, Lucknow and Kolkata. It is called metro train. Trains need railway tracks to run. Trains pick and drop people and goods from railway station. For roadways, we use vehicles such as bicycle, scooters, auto rickshaws, cars, buses, trucks and so on. All these vehicles need roads to run. Buses pick and drop people at bus stop or bus station. Vehicles for water transport. Water transport vehicles include rafts, boats, ships and so on. Ships carry people and goods across the ocean to different countries. Boats and rafts are smaller than ships. They can be used to travel shorter distances through water. Ships need port for loading and unloading people and goods. Vehicles for air transport. Air transport vehicles include helicopter, aeroplanes, hot air balloons and so on. Air transport vehicles need special places to take off and land. Planes need airports with runways. Helicopters need helipads. Transport vehicles can be for public or private use. For example, trains, buses, aeroplanes and auto rickshaws. Sometimes people need help urgently. 
it is called an emergency special vehicles are used in such cases for example fire brigades police vans ambulances and so on application the rules which we need to follow on the roads are called traffic rules the rules which we need to follow on the roads are called traffic rules we need rules on the road so that we can travel easily and safety you must have seen some sign boards on the road you may have also seen some lines and marking on the road these signs and lines help us to use the roads safely what do your parents tell you while crossing a road they may tell you to cross the road using the zebra crossing they may also tell you not to run across the road or cross the road in a hurry without looking at traffic lights children why should we cross the road at the zebra crossing let us find out you have seen traffic lights on the roads these lights control the movement of vehicles on the junction they have three lights red yellow and green children the red light says stop to the vehicles the yellow light says slow down or be ready to stop a green light says go cross road only at zebra crossing and you always walk on footpath children have you seen people in uniform near traffic signals yes they are traffic police they ensure that everybody follows traffic rules if anyone does not follow the traffic rules he or she will have to pay a fine amazing facts did you know there are some vehicles which can run on roads as well as on or under water yes they are called amphibious vehicles higher order thinking skills children now you have learned about vehicles then who runs these vehicles who takes care of them let us find out the people who drive a car bus or truck or called drivers people who fly aeroplanes or called pilots people who work on ships and boats or called sailors and captains yes children this is all about the lesson moving around i hope you all understood the lesson thank you children